minutes to seven. We got another field trip for you today. A special treat. Zach Lashway went on his first trail ride and spent the night under the stars. And this morning he's out at NRG Park where the barbecue cook-off is getting underway. Zach has moved uh, tents and he's now with the Cotton Q Club. How's it going out there, Zach? Good morning. Good morning, Lisa. We have been so busy. Look how gorgeous this tent is from the floor to the ceiling. Those chandeliers, antler chandeliers with crystals. I even am collecting aprons along the way. This is a tartan apron, if you're wondering. Bougie, I know. Look at that. But yes, we were able to go along on a trail ride. It was an experience I will never forget. Take a look. As the sun set, Prairie View trail riders gathered around campfires you can be a cowboy. <laughs> to tell stories and celebrate their history. 65 years of trail riding. Uh, we are the uh, oldest uh, black trail ride, uh, and probably in America, but for sure in Texas, organized trail ride. Murtis Deitman Jr. is trail boss of Prairie View Trail Riders Association. There's a lot of excitement about black athletes. I growed up on the trail. Ronald Turner is assistant trail boss. We try to promote kids and agriculture and show them the way. For Mary Mayfield, trail riding to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is a family affair. I've been out here since 1963. So I'll be 79 years old in a, in a few months. So we call this the Future Cowboys because this is the future. 1984 is when we organized the Wild Bunch. Herbert Bundage was the founder of the Wild Bunch Riding Club. Where'd the name come from? When we came out, we came out to have fun. A lot more noisy, I guess, than everybody else. So they tagged us with the name Wild Bunch. Regardless of the club, all Prairie View riders journey, camp, and feast together. Thank you for this family, Lord. Count it, Lord. One more time. Kelvin Arnsworth is master of the hog squad. This crew here has been together for 24 years. This group prepped and roasted a 250 pound hog for more than 18 hours. God has blessed us. Today's the best day of my life, knowing that I'm still living and that I can associate with my family and friends. Do this one more time. You see, Arnsworth is sick. And I just got off the chemo table. Stage four colon cancer, stage four liver cancer. With his Prairie View family by his side, Arnsworth treks on another day. Black cowboys and cowgirls are taking the reins in their role at the rodeo. The one thing you gotta do, you gotta always make sure it's soundless. Just pull that tight. This dates back to before the beginning of the cattle driving era. But just because they've been around, not always have they been visible. The Prairie View Trail is one of the most historic. It's also one of the longest, nearly 100 miles. Named after Prairie View A&M College, Prairie View riders preserve the Negro Western heritage as they make another trip toward Houston for one of Texas's richest treasures. Prairie View has won several awards over its 65 years. And again, I want to thank them for allowing us to tag along. Truly an experience I will never forget. I'm still scratching as I was eaten and bitten alive by those fire ants, but it's all okay. Again, we are inside this morning. Uh, Cotton Q Club serving up some delicious drinks. This is a, a twist on the margarita. This is the uh, champagne cowboy, is that correct? Correct. This will help with those ant bites that I have on my legs. Look at the beer cans. The beer cans match my apron, a tartan apron, and the floor. So we are having a blast again. This opens today at four. Come on down some 250 tents, contestants competing from all over the world. Some 250,000 people are expected to be here. Owen and Lisa, I will save you a seat. We'll find the prime location. Oh, yeah. You're, yeah, you're getting there early. So, And it looks like you've had the full experience, even the fire ants, unfortunately, but really a great story, Zach. Oh, I want to go back to that because that was truly an incredible story. We were all glued to the TV during it. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that with us.